primary turnout tends to be low because, well, you can only vote for races within your own party. So while Republicans outnumber Democrats in this state, those red and blue numbers, they pale in comparison to the purple that is the nonpartisan. Independents don't normally have a primary, but this year those independents can come out to vote if only for one issue, issue one. Issue one was created in a move to end the age old practice of gerrymandering, the drawing of congressional lines to benefit the political party and control at the time over the other. It gives the minority party a veto power on any map that's drawn. Super majorities of the House and Senate have to pass the map in order for it to go into effect. It would put an end to districts like this in favor of ones that are more compact. 65 of the state's 88 counties couldn't be split up and only five could be divided up into three districts. Cuyahoga's summit right now, for example, split into four. So why would Republicans agree to suddenly play by rules seen as more fair? While well, they face the possibility of a more independent, less favorable referendum going before voters in November. A more radical citizens commission kind of approach, which is what some supporters really would have liked to have seen, the legislature stepped in and got this on the ballot themselves. The bipartisan effort, though, seen as likely to drive those independents to the polls. Between the fact that you have independents interested in this issue, and I think you'll see some independents also pull a party ballot because we've got a lot of contested races, all of that combined means that we'll see a higher percentage of independents jumping in. John Kasich, News 5.